Hey friends, and welcome to the Reminders of Him reading vlog, where I am going to read the entire Reminders of Him by Colleen Hoover book in a day. Not only because my TBR challenge uh, from February said that I needed to choose a book that I could finish in a day, and so I'm kind of challenging myself to finish it in a day, but also because uh, one, I wanted to read it around February for like romance and things, and then two, I have a book chat tonight at seven, or not tonight, when you're watching this, it was a couple of weeks ago, <laughs> but I had a book chat on the day that I actually was filming all of this, reading this, uh, that I wanted to be able to be a part of. And we had a very great discussion and it was awesome, but I'm going to let you go over to past rainy from like the beginning of February and let you see how it went and what my thoughts were. So I'll check in with you in the vlog. friends. So this is the start of our reminders of him reading vlog because my TBR challenge that I do at the beginning of the month said one of the prompts was pick a book that you feel like you could read in a day and I figured I could read reminders of him in a day because one uh it's really good and I'm just flying through it but two because today is Wednesday February 2nd and I'm supposed to be doing a reminders of him discussion book club tonight with some friends at 7 30. And so if that's not incentive enough to read this in a day really less than a day really 12 hours ish with work in the middle um then yeah I don't know I don't know but I'm already on page 30. It's really good. So really quickly, what this is about is about um, a girl named Kenna, who I believe she accidentally killed her boyfriend or husband at the time. I'm not entirely sure, but she served year, five years in prison for a tragic mistake. She returns back to that town, hoping to reunite with her four-year-old daughter, but the bridges that she built are impossible to rebuild. Like, the guy's family doesn't want her there, and she's just really struggling to, like, be able to connect with her daughter. The only person that hasn't shut the door on her completely is Ledger Ward, who's a local bar owner, and he has a connection to her daughter that I haven't figured out what it is yet. But if they were to be together, they could risk losing everybody that's important to them. And of course, they form a connection anyway, and so it's just about that. And this, everybody's saying that this book wrecked them, and that is one of their favorite Colleen Hoover reads. I mean, just look at the cover. It's, like, so pretty. But anyway... I'm going to read it in a day, hopefully. If I don't, it doesn't mean I lost the TBR challenge. I'm not going to add, like, an extra roll for that. But, like, let's see if I can read this in a day. I'll be back to you with more thoughts. I'm also just a little sad that I can't really tab it the way I wanted to because my son ruined all of my tabs last night. Um, so, yeah, that was fun, finding them all over the floor and just completely ruined. Not a good time. Okay, so I am now – I was on – I lied. I wasn't on page 30 when I got there earlier. I thought I was. I was on page 20. I'm now on page 30. I'm literally updating this 10 pages later to say this freaking twist. So they tell you by page 30 how they're connected and holy freaking crap. Holy crap. I'm not going to spoil it even though I still don't think a spoiler is until at least 10 to 20 percent in and I'm only 8 percent in but like I just have to wonder what's going to happen because she knows how they're connected. He doesn't know how they're connected. So, like, once he finds out, I just wonder if shit's going to hit the fan. I just, I just don't know. Oh, I feel for her right now. Like, this, I just want to know a lot more. Like, I want to know how Scotty, that's the, um, her, I think they weren't even married. I think boyfriend. How her boyfriend died. I still want to know how that happened. Why she got sent to jail for it. And like all the stuff that's going to happen. Is she going to get to reconnect with her daughter? I don't freaking know. But I am invested. And I'm going to finish this by tonight. All right. Hello. It's the same day. It's about 4.45 p.m. I have made it at, to about the 25% mark. And I started this morning at like 7. And I didn't get to read that much because I was at work. Like I'm a school teacher. So I only got to read during like my lunch break. And while I was waiting for our PD session to start. But I got 25% of the way. It's already really freaking sad. I mean, of course, when someone gets out of prison for like going to jail for like. And what I mean, what seems like an accident. Like I'm not going to. I'm not going to explain what the accident is. Uh, because that would give it away. Well, when you go to jail for something for a couple of years and then you're coming back and you're trying to reunite with your kid who lives with your grandparents, their grandparents, of course you can assume that that's not going to go well, which it didn't. And so we're at that part and it's just very sad. But I'm really loving it. However, the book chat is at 7 p.m. tonight and I am only 25% of the way in. I am on page 81 and I have 320 pages total. 
So I have 180, 280. I have 240 pages to read in the next two hours and 15 minutes. Am I going to make it? I don't know, but I'm not going to make it if I keep talking to you. So here we go. I'll come at an update soon. It's kind of bittersweet. Never thought I'd come back. It's been a while since I packed up my things and left. I recall it still. In my bed up truck, I didn't look back. Okay, update. I've been reading like freaking crazy. It is 6.57 and I am 78% of the way done with this book. I think that's pretty good. So I read about 180-ish pages in an hour and a half. Not too shabby. I think I'm still going to go to the chat anyway because honestly like I just read the story about like what actually happened in the accident that she went to prison for. I can't imagine like a lot more crazy stuff's gonna happen but also like I don't know if I should go to this but I just it's like hard to, I'm gonna probably do spoilers at the end of this vlog um because I want to talk about this but it's just like hard to like feel sorry for her because of what happened but then it's also not because like she, at the end of the day she just wants to be a mom to her kid that she never got to meet because she's four and she's been in prison for five years but I don't know fam but I'm going to go to the chat, see how that goes, finish this tonight, and then I will give you my non-spoilery thoughts and then probably my spoilery thoughts. But I am absolutely loving it. Like, it's really, really, really good. And I'm loving the dual perspective where we keep flashing back and forth between her and Ledger, which is the bar owner guy that's connected to her in some way. Hello. Looking like a terrible, you know, mess of a person. I'm going to bed soon. But I finished in the same day. Woo, woo, I did it. I read it in a day. It's not like it's impossible. I could probably read like, for example, Crescent City, which is like 800 pages in a day if I really wanted to. But one, I would have to shirk all mom responsibilities. And two, that would have to be in the summer when I'm not actually working. So the fact that I read this entire book while I also worked my eight to five and took care of a tiny human is saying some stuff. Anyway, I have some thoughts. So we're gonna go non-spoiler route first and then whenever I get to spoilers, I will flash a big spoiler sign on here so that you don't watch that if you don't wanna know what my genuine thoughts are because I got you, boo. So I finished and I may or may not have finished during the buddy read. So I was reading this for a buddy read with some friends on Instagram and tonight was the chat at seven and I had about I think I had like 40-ish pages left but it worked out that I finished it during the buddy read and by the time we got to the part that I was at and that thing was spoiled and it was fabulous but there wasn't really that much more to be spoiled because I kind of already knew how it was going to end and we'll talk about that when we get to spoilers but uh yeah anyway my rating's a five star I loved this book I liked it more than it ends with us I loved it ends with us but that is all sad book. Like I was in a, not a great headspace for like a day or two after reading that. This one has some very sad things. And so like definitely trigger warning if like being in prison or uh, car accidents or death, like sudden death or things like that, like trigger you definitely don't read it. But I just really loved it because you really get to feel like how what Kenna is experiencing having gone to prison for an accident and then getting out and wanting to be with her daughter and it's just a love story between a mother who really wants to be with her daughter and everything getting in the way like parents that blame her for their son's death and like don't want her involved and like having to like you know enter into her life when she's about to turn five and how is that going to affect her and then like what about the guy that she met that just so happens, you know, to have this relationship to her daughter and like how it all fits together. It was just so good. She crafted it so beautifully. There were definitely different parts like that I loved so much. So many great quotes. Like this book was just gave me everything that I wanted. I absolutely loved it. Coho did it again. Uh, I will say it did wreck me at parts, but I don't cry at books. I know I'm like super weird. I don't cry at books. Uh, but yes, I seriously loved this. Ledger is adorable. Kenna and Ledger, I will ship any day. Uh, and yeah, this 
this was great. So if you're wondering if you should read Coho's newest book, definitely do it. I thought it was just fabulous and I really can't get over this cover. Like I can't get over it. But yeah, read it. It's fabulous. Um, I'm going to go into the spoiler section. So if you don't want to see the spoilers, then you can either hop off here or I will do a brief wrap up at the end and I will tag it from non-spoilers. But let's get into spoilers. Spoilers. So it was crazy how uh, she gave the twist away in like the first 29 pages and how only she knew that the twist or how she knew how they were related, but he didn't. Like the fact that you know, she, as soon as he says his name, she realizes that was Scotty, who was her boyfriend, the one that died, how it was Scotty's best friend, and how she ended up making out with his best friend. Yeah, she keeps doing it anyway, which, like, I was like, you're literally back in town to meet your daughter, and you're making out with the first guy that you see in a bar. Like, I don't, I don't really understand. I think that was a little, like, <laughs> I don't know about that. But... I liked that twist. I thought it was really good. Um, the whole time, I was really mad at Kenna for like the whole first half of the book because I was like, you were driving drunk and you got in an accident and you made your boyfriend die and you left him for dead on the side of the road and just ran away. And then, you know, you wait, she wakes up in her bed and the cops arrest her for manslaughter. I'm just like, do you deserve to see your daughter? You sure didn't care about your boyfriend. You just left him there to die. Like I was really mad. And I thought Ledger had every right to be mad at her and that the parents, the grandparents had every right to be mad at her. And I was just not feeling any type of way for her. And then they start bringing in the stuff about how she's writing all these letters to Scotty, which I really, really loved. Uh, but it was honestly the end that got me. When we finally get to the part where she tell, lets Ledger read the letter about what actually happened to him and how the reason she thought he was dead is because she had touched his arm and his arm was already dead, like just his arm, and how she didn't realize that he wasn't dead and how she regrets that for like the whole rest of her life and like that's why she pleaded guilty and stuff. That broke my heart. I felt so bad for her. I mean, she totally blacked out and like woke up in her bed and doesn't remember how she got there like she was emotionally scarred like this was so sad to read and I was just like please let them understand that she's not this terrible person and let her be with her daughter and I was really hoping they'd understand but Grace and Patrick are like mean ass people as we've learned and I'm just so glad that you know in the end they decide to like give her a chance let her meet her daughter I don't really get why she kept I mean I do get why she kept living with the grandparents because they didn't want to like move and change her whole life but it's your kid at the end of the day I would have made her live with me and I loved how they named their latest kid Scotty as like a tribute I thought that was like the sweetest thing ever I really did love how this ends I don't think it's very realistic as to how things like this end because like a lot of the times that you don't get the happy ending that you want but I was here for it in this one I thought this was really well crafted honestly I just I just loved every part about it and I just am very excited to see what the next book that she's going to do is. And I did hear that she's releasing one soon. So woohoo. Spoilers are over. Five star. Fabulous. Loved it. So glad I read it in a day. Thanks for coming along with me on this reading vlog. I know it was short because I didn't really get to film a lot of clips while I'm actually doing the reading vlog. But then again, I was at work and I'm still glad that I read this. And I did it with no audiobook because Libby didn't even have an audiobook for me like available like it didn't even recognize the book title it didn't even have anything which was very weird because Colleen Hoover is like very popular I don't really know but it is what it is I'm gonna put it down I'm gonna go start reading my next book which is Bunny by Mona Awad and I'm reading that for Katie Colson's uh Smut Salon Book Club and so I'm gonna let you guys adios I'll see you in the next video